In this video I will be showing you how uh, we made a 3D riverbank uh, natural background uh, for this uh, riparium tank, tropical riparium tank and this will be pretty much a step-by-step -step guide of how I constructed that background. But before we move uh, any further I will explain you what I'm actually going to be doing here. So the background I'm planning to make is not for underwater part of this tank but for actually above the water part of this tank for the riparian part of this tank uh, possibly you can make exactly the same background uh, to put it inside of your tank because it pretty much should work in a similar way of course uh, materials will be uh, slightly different and at the end of the video I'll have a couple of suggestions of how to make a similar background uh, to put it inside of your tank underwater but what I'm going to be making is for actually outside of the tank so what do we have now so at the moment, actually, the background for this riparium is made uh, of an old uh, IKEA uh, coffee table. Uh, you can't really see it because it's all covered by the plants, but over here you can see the legs of a coffee table. They actually act as holders for all the lighting. Uh, this is one lamp and I have a larger lamp in here somewhere. So both of them are attached to the legs of that coffee table. And in the back you can actually see, well, you can't see anything, but it's here. Uh, that's actually a back side of that coffee table. It goes all the way down here. And here are the second set of legs of that coffee table, which I used to basically support all this structure. Uh, behind... Uh, I mean, behind the plants and uh, in between the background, I have this uh, layer of uh, plastic sheets to protect it from moisture because it's just a regular piece of uh, uh, wood and it will most likely spoil if it will be exposed to moisture. So th that's what it is actually. It's very simple, it's functional, but it's not very appealing. It doesn't look very natural. From here, for example, where the plants are not that sick, you can see uh, plastic sheets and uh, up there, well, no, that's hard to see. Uh, you can see the piece of that uh, coffee table. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't say that uh, it bothered me too much because I can't really see it too much behind the plants, but... Uh, in any case, I've been planning to, to create something more beautiful and something more natural and something more appealing. So, yeah, that's a plan uh, to replace uh, that unsightly and uh, fairly ugly background with something that looks really natural. And this is what we're going to be doing in this video. So we start with a frame and this is basically what uh, the background will be created on. The frame on which we will build our uh, background and uh, this is a sheet of uh, MGF. Uh, it was actually sold as a moisture resistant MGF and it's not going to be underwater actually. So, so I don't know whether it has to be moisture resistant but we'll see and whether it's actually going to hold any uh, moisture time will tell uh, it's a 12 millimeter sheet but I think it's a bit too thick I should have probably chosen something thinner maybe 9 millimeter sheet but we'll see mm -hmm. I attached it to this uh, timber frame so these are just regular pieces of timber this is how it looks like from behind nothing special this is just to hold it in place is just to hold it uh, behind the tank and um, yeah, no, nothing uh, special. Uh, this part here is uh, to hold lighting. This frame is going to stand like this uh, vertically and uh, th th to this part I will be attaching lights and uh, other equipment that I want to have in the upper part. So the first step will be to apply expansion foam in order to create structure and it or in order to create form of the background but before i do that one of the things i wanted to have is to add uh, some piece of driftwood uh, which will be uh, <coughs> beneath uh, this expansion form of course it will kind of uh, pop out of the foam but uh, this is something that needs to come first so i have this piece of uh, driftwood which I wanted to attach to the background. If I had more I would probably add more but I don't really have anything else suitable so this is the only thing I will probably be using and I'm thinking in which position should I be 
using it as lots of options. So to create the first layer of this background I'm going to be using landscaping foam. This is a black landscaping foam. I'm not advertising this product but that's actually the only uh, landscaping foam that I was able to find which is uh, safe for fish and other animals because it's uh, designed for ponds. Uh, so it's aqua forte. You can use it uh, in ponds and I guess in fish tanks as well. So this is what I'm going to be using and it's actually first time for me to use something like this. I know it's going to expand once I apply it, so I'll probably see how it works. I also don't know whether this can will be enough for a uh, background of this size. Maybe not, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes and maybe I'll have to order another of those things. So this is what we got so far and the can is empty now so I, I to be honest I don't think that's enough I had a feeling that uh, I actually needed to add more I know it's going to expand and it says that it needs four hours uh, to cure and to fully expand so we're going to see how much it is actually going to expand because right now I feel that there's quite a lot of places for example on edges and on corners that are not completely covered with foam so maybe that's not going to be enough but there's not much I can say actually for now so we'll just wait so it's been uh, next day and the foam uh, has completely uh, dried up so it's uh, rock solid and it's attached very well well we can see now that the one can of uh, foam was not enough because there are lots of gaps in here up there so there's uh, lots of spaces that could have been filled up uh, by, by the foam but unfortunately I only had just one can so I've used it quite actively in the lower part of this uh, background so over here I'm quite happy with uh, how it has expanded and how it has filled up the space but up there there are lots of gaps uh, which is fine because I'm going to use silicone and I'm going to use uh, other materials to cover up those gaps and uh, that's all right. Mm -hmm. So the next stage will be to apply silicone. Some of the people who have done similar backgrounds for uh, terrariums and paludariums, they used to kind of uh, uh, trim uh, the surface of the foam uh, in order to uh, shape it uh, into different uh, shapes. But I'm not going to be doing that because, I don't, first of all, I don't have too much foam so I don't want to be cutting it and uh, there will be even less of it and I'm quite happy with the current uh, form it, yeah it doesn't look very nice or appealing but it will look much better after I'll apply silicone so I'm going to be using this uh, black aquarium silicone so on top of this sil silicone while it's still wet while it's still fresh I will be adding a mixture of two things first is this decorative bark this is something that used in gardens and I'm going to be um, using it as a first layer of background. Well, it's very natural, obviously it's made up of uh, real tree bark and uh, it has lots of texture and lots of variation and uh, I bought a whole um, package of it, uh, about 100 kg, so I have tons of it. I will be mixing it with uh, this peat moss. Some people are using uh, coconut fiber, but I don't have coconut fiber and also 
I think coconut fiber is kind of a uh, brownish and uh, peat moss is uh, black so I want to have a darker background I don't really want a brownish background so this is what I have I think you could replace this with a regular compost or regular potting mix or something like this but this is what I have though so this is what I'm going to use So one tube of um, silicone was only enough for this territory. This is not even uh, half of the background. I think this is just like 25% uh, of the background. So I clearly underestimated how much silicone it consumes and I would probably need at least uh, four more tubes of silicone in order to complete this background. And uh, uh, that's certainly not something I was aware about. And uh, yeah, unfortunately it does consume tons of uh, silicon.
So the next day I just brushed it uh, with, uh, gently with this brush to remove those uh, parts of um, soil and tree bark which uh, did not get um, uh, glued uh, to the background and we, we, ha we still have lots of uh, empty areas in here which I will get covered now one more time so I will probably spend another can of uh, silicone to get this uh, finished and but most of the background looks fine except for this uh, few areas which need to get covered and yeah i think this will be the last time i will be uh, using silicone and uh, this hopefully will be the last time i work on this so i've added a bit more of uh, tree bark to those uh, empty uh, places on the background and now it looks more or less complete of course there are some uh, places where you can still see foam but that's not going to be uh, too noticeable because this will be covered by riparian plants in any case and uh, I think I'm quite happy with this for the moment and yeah so now the next stage is to get it installed actually <laughs> And this is a completed version uh, basically I also had to rearrange a uh, hardscape a bit and uh, rearrange the plants because uh, once I removed uh, the old background some of the plants were not holding in their places anymore so I had to so basically I just moved all of this uh, very beautiful looking water lettuce to the front and I moved some of the plants like anturium which were growing here to the back and i think that looks more harmonious but i didn't touch all this uh, peace lilies or uh, this island of moss uh, and uh, fern they just stay where they used to be that's what it is and uh, i think you could also make a similar background for underwater part of your tank but obviously without a mgf board you could just apply foam uh, to the back uh, of your fish tank to the glass and maybe apply first a layer of silicon so that the form holds onto the glass and on on top of that foam you can just add other other things like silicon and uh, something uh, is a uh, coconut fiber or uh, compost or uh, some other soil in order to create this type of uh, natural effect so that's what it is i hope you like this video uh, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you soon